Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. I'm going to show you a little bit on how the Alienware Control Center works on the Alienware Elite Gaming Mouse, the AW958. Alright, so right now you can see that she's shining all the different colors that she has. All right, that is one of the effects that it comes with, uh, the breathing effect. So right now I'm just going to walk you through the colors. So you can see on the screen here, uh, we do have a green light selected, even though you can see here, she's going through all the different colors. So if I click here, update lighting preset, you can see she is just one color green. Or maybe I want to move it to this red over here. She goes over to red or maybe I don't want to go so granular over here uh, maybe I just want to click this blue setting right over here update profile you can see she changes to blue so if I click on this second sub tab over here now we have all the different lighting effects all right so I'm gonna click right over here and click update lighting presets and the temple is only halfway right now. She's going through a rainbow of effects. Maybe I only want one color. So I select one color here. Update lighting preset. And only that one color is going to shine. Maybe I want two colors. That's going to go through both of the colors I have selected here under color one and color two. And maybe I want to jazz it up a little bit. All right. And again, I can just bump it up all the way so that it goes pretty quickly. And again, I could do one color. And I could change that one color. Sorry. Okay, and I can do rainbow as well. Goes through all of the colors. Now move over to this one. Update lighting preset. And let's go ahead and change that color. Alright, you can see I can only select two color. I can go to one and I can go to rainbow. So let's come over here. And now let's check off right over here. Alright, and then you can see how that one goes through each of them. Maybe I only want two colors. Doesn't have to be that fast. I could lower the tempo a little bit. Or all the way. Okay. And finally, the firework one. And let's raise the tempo. It's kind of hard to see at a lower tempo. All right. And so you have a bunch of different, not only, you know, single lighting effects, but then you have all these different animations. Pretty cool. All right. I like the, I like this one right over here. On a lower pre, actually, it's this one right here. Okay, so aside from lighting, we have some macros over here. You can see I already have one selected over here, so I'm just going to right click on it and click delete macro. Okay, you can see that macro I selected previously is now gone, and we have new macro here. I'm just going to go ahead 
click, hold, and drag it to the trash can right here, and it's gone. So just to show you how to remove a macro you might have created. You can also load custom keystrokes, and then down here, you can create new ones. And then right here, you can export those as well. So, you know, you created a macro that your friend likes, and they have the same mouse, you can just give it to them. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and click record. Okay, and I will click stop. Now I'll drag this macro right over here. It takes a second, it records the macro. So now I'm going to open up this notepad over here and then just click on this button right here that I assigned it to alright so you can see the macro I created mind you I use my keyboard but you can do you know whatever you like let me just go ahead and close this okay so you can see here the macros that they have are cut paste, copy, close window, undo. So what I'll do is I'll just delete this one right here, or actually I'll keep that one. I'll click, hold, and drag this one to the very first mouse button. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead, select it, and I'm going to click this first mouse button and you can see how it just cut it and again since it is already recorded I'll press this one again okay and then I'll just cut it again pretty cool alright now mind you again these are just you know basic ones I created but you know you can get wacky with them or you can use them later on in a game for your own custom keystrokes so I'll go ahead and delete this one here okay so that's again just to show you all the different keystrokes and everything you can do with that and if I click on this subsection now this is a little bit more static so let me go ahead and delete these guys okay and then this one for example I can click forward and then map it to let's say this key so now whenever I click this key it goes forward like forward on a website or something these are a little bit more static so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back to where it was that's just again if you want to remap those keys so now I'll jump over to settings under settings I can change the polling rate delay from one all the way up to I believe it was nine eight okay change the polling rate from one to eight I can enable mouse acceleration I can enable switch primary or secondary buttons you know switch this guy to be this guy and this guy to be this guy and then I can enable a sleep timer on this time after 10 minutes the mouse itself goes to sleep not the computer just the mouse so then I can change the tilt here I can change the double click rate the LOD rate or lift on distance the scroll rate few settings there and if I click down here okay here we can change the DPI so you can either you know click on it here or here and you notice it also changes the lighting okay so I can you know go through all of them here and let's say you know I like 9600 so if I click here it's gonna give me 9000 so I can just raise it right over here alright so we'll do just 9700 now I can do 9600 but it takes a little bit more precision and I'm not using this mouse to change it, I'm using another mouse. So, if we want to get a little bit more crazy with it, we can click separate XY values, and then we can get a lot more granular 
with those clicks you know if you don't like uh, the horizontal plane you can just lower it here or the vertical one lower it here or raise it here and it goes all the way up to 12,000 okay so now if this is one of my favorites the surface calibration so by default it's auto and well for the most part I've seen it work just fine if I have a mouse pad and it just doesn't work right it works but maybe not the way I want it to I can select manual surface calibration and here it lets me actually calibrate it so to read it so we'll go through it start click on the mouse icon below and hold down the left button okay so now I'll just rotate it here it tells me to rotate it and then it gives you at the very bottom a percentage all right so it's done and every time I use this I've, I've used it already twice before every time I use it I'm amazed by how great the mouse performs on the mouse pad. I have one of those HyperX really large uh, mouse pads and you know I thought it worked well without the calibration but when I changed it to this using the manual surface calibration things just work so much better. So it's pretty awesome. Alright so now if I oops, I already want to use that one but anyway so if I come up here and I go to the settings over here I have update I'm already up to date on the Alienware Control Center and on the firmware for this mouse. When I received it, it had an older firmware, so I had to update it twice, actually. Okay, so something you can do here. And then if we go to About, this just gives you general help, FAQ, Launch Help. It gives you very general help. I didn't find it very handy, but who knows, maybe you do. Now, if I totally messed up, all the settings and I want to go back all I have to do is click restore factory defaults and then are you sure yep click OK and everything's back to the way it was outside of the when it was still in the box okay so I'm just gonna go ahead close this out right over here now another cool feature this mouse has so you can see the picture of the mouse here and it has a nice animation so if I want to just change the view of it or maybe go back to it it's a pretty cool animation I think another one of the features the mouse gives you is the ability to change the wings they call them wings so if I'm more for MMOs and I want to change these two buttons out all I do is take this off and you'll notice right when I took it off it immediately switched me to the six button but now I'll just go ahead and attach the six button right over here. So that's pretty cool. The software knows, of course, because of this, because of these little fingers here and those little fingers there, that you're switching it. Now, mind you, you only have two options, six or two. So when you take off the two, you're going to go to the six. But it doesn't actually change when you take off the six back to the two until you put the two back on okay and then now I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the other wing so I'm gonna select this guy here and here's the other side it's just a little bit slimmer I take this off and I put that one on it doesn't look like that one actually changes when you remove it only the ones with the button but that's still pretty cool all right so that's about it uh, i just wanted to show you how all of the software works it's pretty cool has a lot of great features and uh well the one again i'm the most impressed with is the surface calibration it just it's almost a night and day difference with the way it performs and of course I like the lighting I'm not so much a fan of the macros but that's just me I don't really change my mouse buttons I like them just the way they are but it's a pretty cool feature for those of you that do like that customization so anyway 
This is Iggy with Dragon Blogger again showing you the features of the Alienware Control Center on the Alienware Elite Gaming Mouse, the AW958. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys. Disclaimer This product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.